So now you're all working against me? You wanna know where the bomb broke? So I'm going to start doing more praises to Kaya Howard, Bahasin, Yaha Shah, and respect and charity to all you brothers out there pushing this word with sincerity and truth. Pushing this word of Yahweh, of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Okay? Um this is quick lesson, this is wisdom. Okay, and I'm gonna give just three scriptures to the point. Okay. The first scripture I'm going to start with is is um, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. <clears throat> <clears throat> Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Right. Wisdom is the principal thing. Not the wisdom of the world, but the wisdom of these scriptures. Because the wisdom of these scriptures go deeper into the wisdom of the world. Okay? Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get, getting, get understanding. Right. And the understanding is to understand these prophecies and these scriptures, you know, and to manifest it, you know, on the highways and byways, to your loved ones, your family ones, you know what I'm saying, to Israel, even though two-thirds of Israel is not going to hear it, but we're still supposed to do it, okay? And to understand your shot is to, is, is to grasp wisdom, is to understand wisdom, all right? And the next scripture is Proverbs 16, 16. Proverbs 16, Proverbs 16, 16, how much better is it to get wisdom than gold and to get understanding rather to be, rather to be chosen than silver, <laughs> right? Because this, read that again, how much better is it? to get wisdom than gold and to get understanding rather to be chosen than silver. Right. Because wisdom, this wisdom that we're talking about is not the wisdom of the world. We're talking about the wisdom of these scriptures because they supersede silver and gold. And remember silver and gold, you know what I'm saying? Rust and tarnish, but this wisdom of this scripture never gets old. It always keeps is, 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 is dross is dross. D R O S S is dross. It never gets dull, okay? So that's the wisdom we're talking about. This wisdom in these scriptures supersede the wisdom of man because this wisdom is from the Heavenly Father up above, okay? So a lot of people who sell their soul, you know what I'm saying, literally for gold and silver, you know what I'm saying, you can't take that with you when they, when they say when you pass away. But this word continues forever, just like men in the ancient times, they died, but this wisdom is still going on to this day. Some of the Psalms King David wrote, you know, even though he passed away, King Solomon wrote some of these scriptures. A lot of these prayers in this in this in this Bible is still being told today. OK, so the same thing they was doing back then is carrying on. So this wisdom supersedes men. It's still going on, even though some men sleep and death. But this this wisdom is continuing on. It's still carrying on. So that's why I say it never gets dull. OK, and this wisdom never sleeps. All right. And. um, Let me give you. First Corinthians three nineteen. First Corinthians three nineteen. For the wisdom of this world is foolish with the most high, for it is written, He take the wise in their own craftiness. Okay? Read that again. First Corinthians three nineteen. 
for the wisdom of this world is foolish with the most high right because man wisdom can't compare to the most high's wisdom and his son Yahweh's wisdom. It's not on the same plateau at all. Okay. It's beneath him. Okay. So this words is alive in these scriptures is a high is, um, how can y'all say it? It's, just put it like this. It supersedes the wisdom of men as the scriptures um, bring out. So, this is the wisdom that we should be chasing at, chasing after this knowledge, because this stands from the begin from the, this stands to the end of times for everlasting. OK. So with all that I get, get wisdom. OK, because wisdom is the principal thing. And the principal thing is the knowledge of wisdom is understanding of these scriptures. Thus says the Lord. Brother Shema. Shalom.